Welcome to the Financial Quarterback with your host, Jim Lineweaver. I'm Jim Lineweaver, your financial quarterback since 1993. You know, with four months of the year under our belt, we thought I'd take a look at the market so far and share some of the thoughts on what to expect for the rest of the year. So here to help us is Chartered Financial Analyst and the head of our investment committee, Jerry Herman. So hey, thanks Jim. for coming on the show. Good to be here. So what are some of the highlights of the year so far? Well, it's been a very challenging start to the year for investors. The combination of high inflation, energy shock, supply side disruptions, a war in Ukraine, rising interest rates, all have created headwinds for investors. So thus far, the market's down about 13%. That's the S&P 500. The more tech-heavy NASDAQ is down 21%. And even the bond index is down about 10%. So a theoretical portfolio could be down double digit. It's really unusual to have stocks and bonds down in the same year. Yeah, there's a lot of year left, but there's only been three times in history where 10-year treasuries and the S&P 500 have been down in the same year. And yeah, it's been really volatile for stocks. And at the beginning of the year, we talked about expectations that volatility would increase in 2022, and it definitely has. Most definitely, Jim. We've already had 12 days where the market has moved up or down 2% or more. All last year, we only had seven days when we had that kind of a move. And according to BlackRock, over the prior 10 years, the average is about 15 days per year when you get a 2% plus or minus move. Yeah, and you mentioned some of the major headwinds investors face now when we talk about the markets being down, obviously. But what do you see are the main issues that investors face today with the market? Well, predicting what will happen with the, the tragic war in Ukraine is, is very, very difficult, and we hope that conflict resolves soon. But I think the focus is on how the Fed intends to fight inflation with higher rates without throwing the economy into a recession, a soft landing, if you will. So the Fed raised interest rates 25 basis points in March, another 50 basis points in May. That's the largest increase in 20 years. And by the end of the year, the market's predicting about two and three quarters to 3%. You know, with rising rates, the environment is challenging for bonds. But at some point, yields may become attractive again for people seeking income. And depending on how well the Fed navigates this landing, there will be an impact on the economy, but also equities and how their performance. That's right, Jim. With this backdrop, we encourage investors to thoroughly review their allocations, make sure they're in line with goals, objectives, risk tolerance, and time horizon, to diversify, obviously, and to look closely at opportunities in sectors, styles, and geographies in the equity side, and opportunities and positioning in the fixed income side. Well, great information, Jerry. Thanks for sharing your wisdom with us. And it's going to not only tell us about, obviously, what has happened in the past, but also some insight about what's going to occur in the future. So if you have any questions about your portfolio, give us a call or any of the strategies that we have talked about on the show. We're here to help. Stay tuned for Fox News Sunday.